appelé Bidis. <laughs> I don't know what's in the guy carry for mind. I don't jab jab, you never throw one. Maybe you throw one and I die. Ah. Oh, but I did I leave sports for them all. Okay. You know, one thing I like about, you know, when you come to shows like this, there are people who make up their mind from home to come and enjoy themselves. Laugh, relax, have fun. Some people there will make up their mind to also come here, have fun, laugh, relax. But some natural problems, you know, they let them laugh well. <laughs> Just imagine, say, the food where you chop, sour. You reach here, your belly on, they do one kind. <laughs> so you're controlling your nyash. May you not go make mistakes, shit for body. No matter how the joke sweet, you go control your life. <laughs> but you laugh too much, anything can happen. Then it gets another set where you are already aware of your mouth order before you got here. So you're behaving yourself in order not to inconvenience other people we pay. So when they're laughing, ah! <laughs> you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm also gonna warn you. Yeah, you see, the thing about mouth order, the thing about mouth order is some people know they have it and they do something about it. But some people know, no, say they get them and they carry on. Those ones, anytime they want to discuss with you, for what? I stopped going to early morning service because of one woman martyred. You know, early morning service like six o'clock mass today and on Sunday. People go without brushing. Some go without having their bath. I just got into church, sat down. Man of God came in. Service started. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, open your hymn books to hymn number 36. Now the woman told, which hymn? I give her the hymn book. I said, take the hymn book, sing, sing. I'll collect it after service. Sing. You know, that kind of bad. Now, you see, what do they take? For those of you who get them but no, no, and your friends are afraid to tell you because they don't want to hurt your feeling. There are signs where you take no say you get mad order. And I'll tell you those signs. One, once people begin to give you toothbrush and toothpaste as gifts, maybe Valentine gift, birthday gift, check yourself. Once you enter church or party. You carry another person, baby. Hey, fine baby. As soon as you carry him, you say, baby, baby, the baby. <laughs> Check yourself. The picking not that comfortable with your mouth order. And finally, once you reach the stage where Every argument, now you they win. <laughs> Once they raise one thing now, somebody say, no, 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 my friend, it's not like that. Let me tell you. Immediately you say, let me tell you. Let me say, the <laughs> you know, I like shows like this because people come out with their partners, husband, wife, I know that. Well, some people are permanently scared of marriage. I don't know why. I was, hey, back to the big brother people. I hear um, my friend, Frank. Frank say, well, his own is to fight AIDS. <laughs> For where? <laughs> fight, fight with, something will be past you. You know how many people went on fight AIDS? <laughs> you know, 
the amazing thing about AIDS, if you find the cure tomorrow, trouble. <laughs> you don't find it, problem. Look at what people are doing when AIDS day. Imagine say AIDS no day. <laughs> you go just reach bus stop like this, you go see one woman host speaker, another man doing back. With AIDS, people are trying. Then imagine without AIDS. And I don't believe, no matter how much effort Frank wants to make, it's okay for him to try. But I don't see a man finding the cure to AIDS. Maybe in a woman, if you find them. But men, I have my reasons. Men, all the researchers, scientists, the kind of research where men they do, they annoy me. They are busy looking for Things to elongate organ. <laughs> things to increase the number of hours a man stays during intercourse. All the things we go enhance sex. Nine men, they're busy. So even in the process, if they find the cure, they're not going to know self. <laughs> Focus on other things. I don't see a man finding it, but Frank, I wish you luck in your pursuit. <laughs> Try harder. You know, I was talking about marriage and how people they scared. You know, Sometimes now the definition of marriage, now they fear some people when you hear ah, when your friend tell you what you need to go through for marriage, you go panic. Say, man, if I saw the team be make we live more. You know, once somebody once said that marriage is like chewing gum. The one where they chew from out. Say when you begin chewing first, sugar they plenty. As you they chew, they go. Sugar they disappear. Rubber they remain. You go chew, 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 chew. Sugar finish. <laughs> Only rubber. You chew, 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 chew. Jaw. <laughs> You're going to think, should I spit this thing out now? Or swallow this thing now? As so marriage won't be. Then somebody to add pepper to the thing say, a man is not complete until he's married. Women don't agree. Do you agree with that definition? That a man is not complete until he's married. Not true? Not true? When I don't fear, when I know, when I don't know what I want to talk less. Anyway, they say a man is not complete until he's married. Then when he's married, he's completely finished. Because from that time, the woman go take over your mumu control. They operate. And they say a successful man is a man who makes more money than the wife can ever spend. While a successful woman is a woman who finds that kind of man. You see, as a be. Then all these people where they bring all these definitions, can't talk say. Behind or beside, or whether for the front, of every successful man is a woman. Beside the one where no succeed to is a woman. Uh, because some of them, then they bring down finance. Of course, they say no romance without finance. So some of those ones, they attack pocket. Psst. One man was dying and was in hospital. Doctors don't tell the wife, say, you see this man, he's not going to make it though. 48 hours maximum, he's dead. So just allow him to enjoy his last hours on earth. So the wife, they near hospital bed, they take care of him. The man said, no, they fit eat again. And the man from the hospital bed decide to talk. The wife said, eh, eh, easy, 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 easy. <coughs> Honey. And I want to say something. The wife says, shh, sleep, sleep. Doctor says, sleep. <laughs> you know women, how they want to be your mother instead of your wife. <laughs> the man refused. I, st <coughs> <coughs> I want to say something before I move. The, the wife says, shh. I, I, 